Hey, this is Didact coming at you with another guide for Guilty Gear Xer. This time we're talking about stagger recovery and the most consistent way you can mash out and block at the end of it. And we're going to use one of the prime culprits that plagues uh, new players getting into this game. It's Slayer and his blood-sucking universe, also known as Bite, um, leading directly into Mappa Hunch. So how many times have you been hit by something like this? So I'm sure everyone's been hit by this at some point. Um, Bite has some unique properties such that it gives his next attack uh, a guaranteed counter hit. So even though it's a black beat here, because I obviously I'm not matching out, the next hit is a guaranteed counter. I don't have any risk. It's just the buff for Slayer. So obviously you, you want to mash out of this. But notice there, I got counter hit anyways, even though it wasn't a black beat. And this is because I just, as an example, showed what uh, inferior and improper uh, mashing out of stagger technique looks like. So one thing about stagger that helped me understand the proper way uh, to, to do this is that even though stagger is counting how many buttons you're mashing, it's not as if if you held down the button at, and, and a macro just spammed that button like once every frame, it's not like you're going to recover instantaneously. For every move that places you into a stagger, there is a quickest time that you can recover. And for slayer's bite it just so happens that no matter how fast you mash you're going to recover right before that mapa hunch can hit you so knowing that we can trust that we've mashed enough if we're quick with it and what we want to do is right before the mapa hunch hits we want to guarantee that we're holding down back and faultless defense we don't want to be like in the middle of mashing a button and, and getting counter hit because we pressed the button so my technique is as i'm being placed into stagger i am pressing a lot of buttons you notice like I'm just pressing a lot of buttons, but like as I know the Mappa Hunch is about to hit, I want to be holding back down back this entire time, mind you. The, the directional uh, movement has no effect on mashing out a stagger. Um, I will actually roll my fingers onto the buttons as I know the stagger is ending. So in slow motion, it'll look something like this. I'm mashing, and then I'm, hold I'm holding down back and mashing, and then I roll onto the buttons. So... Putting it into action, it'll look something like this. Oops. So hopefully, uh, you definitely want to put this into, into the lab. You want to bring this into training mode. It's not something that you can instantly pick up and deploy in your matches. It will matter depending on the move that you are getting hit with on on how to uh time when you're actually gonna kind of exit stagger not all staggers are the same bdc bite is completely different than raven 6h which is completely different than getting hit by like reversal gigantor for example and so do your best to practice and experiment and figure out the timings that work best for you but again the crux of it is as you're exiting stagger Roll onto the buttons to guarantee that you're getting FD instead of some random button when you exit stagger. So hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching.